I got my PhD from Stanford in 1962, and I stayed on not as a faculty member, but as a researcher. At one point, I got a telephone call. The caller introduced himself as Bob Noyce. Now, I knew who he was, and I had met him once before. And Bob said he was starting a new company. Would I be interested in talking to him about a position? And I'd been at Stanford now doing this research work for about six years after getting my PhD. There used to be a researcher from Fairchild who would come around to talk us, to us about students that might be getting near the end of their program, see whether it'd be appropriate for Fairchild. His name was Rex Rice. And I used the opportunity to talk to Rex and find out what's going on in the semiconductor industry. And it seemed to me, and in talking to Rex, that the semiconductor technology was making such advances that at some point it might be reasonable to think about doing semiconductor memory. Now, when I went for the interview with Bob Noyce, the new company had no place to meet yet, so I ended up interviewing at his home. And one of the questions Bob asked me what do I think the next big area for semiconductors should be? And based on those discussions I'd had with Rex Rice from Fairchild, I said, I think memory is another area to look at. And I didn't know it, but Bob and Gordon had decided that their new company would develop semiconductor memory. So I think maybe that answer more than anything helped me get the job.